Howdy y'all, this is another Atlashine Wi-Fi battle up against XX Ruby Dragon XX. This is a standard match, and, but I brought in all in you team, I believe. I don't know. He leads off with Wiki Tiki the Hariyamas. I lead off with uh, Sakura the Marsh Top. I'm hoping he doesn't have Stone Edge, or if he does, I can take it. So I'm switching Cuddles my Shelmet, and sure enough, I cannot take a Stone Edge from Guts Boosted Wiki Tiki the Hariyama. So he takes his burn damage, and I go back into Sakura, knowing I can take just about anything he has. And he, he knows I, I got the counter on this motherfucker right here. So he switches to Mrs. Mai. I'm not quite sure what he's going to do. So I switch out into Picante, and he actually goes for the, um, yeah, that's what happened. I was thinking he'd go for the uh, Magic Leaf, but he actually goes for the ice, uh, Icy Wind. So, um, A, I'm slower, and... B, I, I can't take another icy wind, obviously. So, Mrs. Mime is going to do work and get rid of Picante. So, <clears throat> Masquerade, you really didn't do too much for me today. So, down it goes. I'm already losing this match. I switch in Mama Khan. Mama Khan has a bad habit of ruining people's days. So, Mama Khan's going to go for the fake out as he switches in OxyClean. And he, I guess he forgot that Mama Khan doesn't care if you're a ghost or not. I'm going to fake you out. And sure enough, he also gets the critical hit, so he one hit KOs the Gengar with fake out. In comes Wiki Tiki the Hariyama, who has his own fake out, which I predicted, and I just didn't, really didn't want to send anything else in to take that. <clears throat> I go for the Sucker Punch, which also gets another critical hit, and it, it does a decent amount, but Hariyama is going to get the close combat off, and it is going to finish me off. But after burn damage, Wiki Tiki is going to be low enough that I might be able to revenge kill it with something, so. Things are looking uh, positive and negative right now. So I send in Chef Ramsey, who Chef Ramsey's like, I can take anything this Hariyama got. So he switches out. So I'm like, okay, cool, you do that, because I'm going to go for a bulk up. Uh, right here, I probably should have gone for another bulk up. It would have helped me out a whole lot. But he goes for the bounce. And I think I went for the circle throw. Yeah, I should have gone for another bulk up right there. But I go for the protect. So there's no way in hell he can bounce me unless he does some really good predictions. So, he ends up going for the waterfall instead, which I happen to be able to get flinched, which sucks pretty pretty much balls, and he realizes right now he has taunt, so he goes for the taunt, and I'm like, crap, I can't bulk up anymore. So, I'm like, I don't want it this combo right here, I know Chef Rams will be able, to be able to set up later on on Hariyama, possibly. He ends up going for the bounce, like I, I thought he might, and, ha. Huh. Switched in Sakura. At this point, he was like, shit. And shit is right. I get to counter his bounce. And judging from the damage he did, is almost 400 damage that will, will, will be hitting right there. So I drop it pretty easy. In comes Mrs. Mine. And it does go for the Magic Leaf this time. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. That was no good. I was thinking he might not have it, but he actually ended up having it. Four times effective on uh, poor Sakura. So I switch in Judgment. He's going to go for, I think, the Night Slash. Yep, sure enough, go for the Night Slash. He sends in Rivets the aggro, and I'm like, ah. But it is nice to see um, that really nice Blue Ranger Blue going on with the Triceratops. So I'm switching Chef Ramsey, figuring he can take anything this thing has and give me another opportunity to set up. Uh, he goes for Automize, which um, raises his speed by two, which I find kind of weird that they invented Automize anyway, considering most Automize Pokemon get Rock Polish. He goes for the Aqua Tail, and I actually take it quite well, and then after Bulk Up, you know I'm going to be able to take it well again. So things are starting to look uh, good for me right here. I believe I go for yet another bulk up. I probably could have gone for a circle throw, but nope, that's not what happens. I, I go for the bulk up. Now my attack and my defenses are doubled, and I have high special defense already. But just to make sure I have as much health as possible, I believe I'm going to go for the protect right here. As he goes for a psychic. Nope, he goes for icy wind, which I find to be a pretty weird uh, move to go for. So this time he goes for the psychic. And it deals quite a bit of damage. Like I said, I got a lot of special bulk. So I take it and I hit the payback. And that is one downed Mrs. Mime right there. So back in the kitchen goes Mrs. Mime. And Chef Ramsey's looking pretty good. Um, I get my leftovers covered. And in comes Wiki Tiki again. And I'm not quite sure what it's going to do. It goes for the fake out. I'm like, okay, cool. You do that. Uh, I, I take the flinch. And then... He takes his burn damage, of course, and then I go for the Protect, I believe, as he switches into Stoner, which, you know, in retrospect, I probably could have gone for either a Bulk Up or a um, Circle Throw, but that's not what ended up happening. He goes for the Earthquake, 
And I'm not sure what I go for. I believe I go for the circle throw. Yep. I nail it and I send him flying out. And in comes Hariyama, and I can't really take anything from Hariyama, I believe. Uh, actually, I believe I'm going to go for the Protect right here. Nope, no, he actually uh, faints to burn damage, which means he's going to switch back out to a Stoner, who I can't live another Earthquake. I go for the Protect just to get some health back, maybe hoping for min damage, but it's not really going to happen. So this turn, I would go for another Protect, hoping to get the Double Protect, and it, it doesn't work out in my favor. So... Down goes Chef Ramsey to the Earthquake. And all I have left is Judgment, my Absol. Absol's gonna come in, and I, I need to hope for, like, a Super Night Slash to, like, drop him. Because I could go for the Ice Beam, but I don't believe he'll finish off his Gyarados in a million years. So, that's pretty much a good game right there. Thank you all for watching. And, you know, hope to see you guys next time.